Hey, hey, it is Wednesday. Oh gosh, I don't even know. I think today's the ninth. I feel like I lose track of all the days if I don't have a calendar in front of me. Um, I'm gonna give it just a couple of minutes while everybody jumps on. Vita says hi. Vita says come say hi to us. Huh. She loves to sit in my lap when I do my uh, my live videos and stuff. She's always hunkered down here on my lap. You can't see her, but she's here. <laughs> So I thought I would jump on tonight because um, I did a, we've been talking about foundation. We've been talking about so many different things and I've had some questions lately. Oh, excuse my hair looks like a train wreck. Um, if you're jumping on live, will you let me know where you're, where you're um, viewing from so I can give you a shout out. Sorry, I'm going to type. For some reason, if I type one comment and send it, then I think I should be able to see your comments when they're coming up. So drop um, a where you're from down in the comments if you're watching live. I see we got some people jumping on. So anyway, um, we've been chatting. Hey, Ashley. Um, we've been chatting a ton about our foundation, and I thought I would switch gears a little bit tonight to talk about our shadow scents. Um, we have taken a, a little bit of a turn here, which is good. You guys saw my post the other day, and I ran out of candlelight. This is candlelight. Candlelight makes an amazing concealer and I'm going to show you how in just a second. Um, I don't like cakey concealers. I don't like it to be thick. Um, for some reason, candlelight is absolutely amazing for that. So I'm going to show you how in just a second. But is, um, you guys have come to hear me talk about shadow sense so much and all the amazing different ways that you can use it. Um, like using candlelight that is a shadow sense, it's not a shadow, as a concealer. Awesome, right? You can use the black shadow sense, which is Onyx. Onyx shadow sense is a liner for your um, top lid and bottom lid. You can use it as all sorts of good fun things. Um, and you can use, let me see my new one that I haven't played much with yet is Garnet. Which here, I'm gonna put these ones down. Garnet is like a reddish, brownish color. So fun. And they're using this, and I haven't tried it yet, is a highlighter. So they're using it like in here to give you definition and around the edges of your face to give you that um, different kind of glow look. So I have not used it for that yet. They are also using this for um, eyebrows to give you more defined eyebrows. Garnet is awesome for that because it's not super dark, but it gives you a little bit of color. So these colors are absolutely amazing. So I now, let's see, in my own personal collection have, you're probably gonna hear my dogs come down the stairs in a second. Well, the other dogs. In my own personal collection, I now have eight shadow scents including my candlelight and my onyx. I have silver shimmer. This is smoked topaz shimmer. The shimmer, that's the garnet I was just telling you about. This is uh, mocha java shimmer. I love mocha java, use it all the time. Um, amethyst is the purpley one. And this one down here is shimmer copper rose. So pretty. I absolutely love these. So I thought I would jump on and kind of show you how to put them on because um, I had a couple girls that got them as gifts over Christmas break or Christmas break, Christmas holiday. And I had got messages like, um, OK, so I never really wore eyeshadow. How do I put it on? So I'm going to do a quick little demo. I am going to find um, in my B small B S mall. Um, brush kit. I got a very nice brush. Now the thing with our shadow sense, you want to use a super soft brush that's nice and fluffy and 
Um, that will help you spread around your shadow. Now you can make this as dark or as light as you want, and that's the kind of fun part about it. So I have two brushes um, that I'm going to kind of play with because I've never really used these ones. That one's a little flatter. This one's a little more full. So I think I'll use the fuller one to start. So I'm going to show you real quick how fast you can use eyeshadow to make your eyes pop. So I am trying to be as close to the camera as I can here without being like, whoa, in your face. But um, so and I didn't bring a mirror. So I'm just going to use, you know, based on you might see me look off to the side. But um, so our shadow sense has a nice brush, has a pointed tip, just like our lip sense does, which is awesome. Um, and I use my candlelight under my eyes. Always make a V under your eyes when you're using your concealer. The idea is that you want to keep it away from your nose. And I go up into my eyelids because that is also my first color that goes up on... <laughs> my dog just walked into her kennel, literally like into the door of her kennel. Um, so that is also my first now, you also have to realize that I do not have, I don't have any foundation on. I don't even have my tinted moisturizer on. I was just jumping on to do strictly eyes tonight. So you can see a total, I shouldn't even have put this on there. Look at the difference of how awake, how bright, and it is nine o'clock at night. I am not awake, but the difference between what you're seeing on this side and what you're seeing on this side with just this candlelight, this is like liquid gold. Um, I use this every single day. I use it whether or not I use um, foundation or my tinted moisturizer. You guys know I talk about all the time. And it honestly just totally brightens everything up. I'm going to put a little extra up here because I didn't give myself enough to go up top. So I can put my first layer on. Okay. So easy as that. I look 12 times different than I did when I first got on. And I totally forgot to take a dang picture again. I suck at that. So I'll do an after photo um, later. But it works as an amazing concealer. If you have, I have a couple of red marks that I cover normally over here. I have one down here that I'm rocking currently that I will use um, candlelight to cover. It goes with most skin tones. It's very universal. It's an amazing, amazing product. So moving on. So that's my base. Okay. So you have um, your base on. Uh, you can use any kind of base that you want. Um, I only use Shadow Sense at this point because it doesn't sit in your creases. It doesn't, um, it doesn't rub off. I work from six in the morning. I put my makeup on and I work until four, go to my second job until 8 p.m. And this shit stays on. It just amazes me. So I'm going to play with two different colors tonight. So here is the trio. I always say you do trios that we're putting on. Candlelight was the bottom one. I guess I should put them in from lightest to darkest. So candlelight your bottom one. I have your copper rose shimmer and then garnet is on top. This is actually what I did for um, work this morning. And I was like, oh, I need something different. So you can do so many different options in like combinations that you just have an endless amount of like you know, combinations and what you can do with them. So you will see that you can get a lot on these brushes. You don't always want a lot. You want to be able to put more on if you need to take it, you know, rather than take it off, you want to be able to put extra on. So this is going to be a little different for me, not using a mirror and using this instead. So I'm putting this about halfway over. So I spread some on first and then I'll come back in with my brush and just kind of pat it out. I'm going to go up a little bit. Um, if you haven't used cream to powder shadow before, it does take a little bit of getting used to. I won't lie. Um, I struggled with it a lot in the beginning just because I hadn't worn it before. Um, you have something new. Anything that you do that's new is going to take a little bit of practice. So I go up a little bit up into the lid with just a little bit of the color. I don't have super big eyelids, eyeshadows. Um, remember, if you're jumping on, make sure you drop where you're watching from. 
Um, so how many of you struggle with knowing like how to kind of put your eyeshadow, which layers to put on where? Um, drop a one in the comments if you're kind of unsure with kind of where to put things. <laughs> I always say I have no idea. I just kind of play until it looks right. And I'm going to do super, super easy look tonight and uh, make it super easy. So I'm going to grab an extra color. Actually, I'm going to grab just a little bit more of that shimmer. Hey, Christina. Good to see you on. Oh, hold on. My battery's dying. That is not efficient. Hold on. <laughs> Let me plug in real quick so I don't lose anybody. Okay. So here's what also is a quick tip. You take your brush, you can take and just get a smidge more. <laughs> Ashley said, <laughs> okay, so I have a 19 year old. She gives me way more crap than you'll ever know. Um, but yeah, super easy tip. You take this and dab it on the top part of your brush and it just gives you like a little bit extra. And then I'm gonna go up into my lid a little bit more, that's all. So, Ashley, it is totally all practice. Uh, and I will not never in a million years sit here and tell you that I am some crazy makeup guru and that I know everything because that is not the case. I will learn every ounce of putting makeup on and using our products with you because I'll tell you I don't know everything and it's okay to not know everything. Um, I'm going to do an easy, easy, super easy look. Um, this is Garnet. Garnet is dark. So you kind of have to be a little bit careful. So I'm not going to put this directly on my eye like I did the copper rose. I'm going to use the brush and just take the color off the brush. And I'm going to take a little bit at a time. It's so hard to see in this corner. Christina, how was your trip with your kiddo? I think you're still on. So they say to start in the outside corner and then bring it in to like the middle of your eye. So this is obviously is not blended currently, but you can see kind of where I'm bringing that line in to where the centers of my pupils are. So, so I feel like it's dark enough. So I'm going to drop this brush that has the darker color and go to that clean brush that I showed you so that I can blend. So you have to remember it's, it's a learning curve may not be a hundred percent, perfect all the time and that's okay you do kind of have to work a little quick I just got a little carried away there with my garnet hmm well that didn't work on this eye at all so I'm going to wipe my brush off a little bit on my palm and I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that copper color which was the lighter one and I'm gonna go back in with that and just blend a little bit easier. So I went right over that garnet to help blend it in. And boy, next time I do this, I'm totally getting a mirror. So super easy, three colors, and that's it. This one is a little bit not in the center where I would normally like it. But hey, it's close. So last but not least, I'm going to go back with um, my original color was Candlelight that I used to use under my eyes. If you guys haven't, um, I have a video on my page about Candlelight. Hey, Deanna. Um, gosh, you're super busy. I can't believe you jumped on. I'm so glad to see you. Um, and uh, this kind of will give you a little bit more definition. So I am going to take this brush which is a little flat pointed brush how many of you guys have a really nice or a set of brushes that you like should i say doesn't have to be super nice they can be from burlington or anywhere that inexpensive and then i'm gonna cheat and cover up my mess and define that corner a little bit more um, if you have a, a brush set that you really, really like and that you use, drop a one in the comments. If you don't have any idea what brush to use, drop a two in the comments because I feel like that was totally me. I use my fingers a lot when blending just because it's easy. 
So you will find that um, when you do your shadow sense, you know, sometimes you get a little bit extra under your eye and candlelight is perfect to give you that nice definition on the side. And that is that. So super easy look. Um, darker could be evening, could be day. Um, and you guys just saw I totally just rubbed my fingers on it. It's dry. Nothing comes off. Uh, to be quite legit, um, I never really wore a lot of eye makeup in general until I found this because it doesn't come off. I mean, I can spend... It probably takes me 15 minutes in the morning to get ready with my shadow sense. And um, for those of you that are just jumping on, we chose three colors. And we chose candlelight was the cover up that I use under my eyes to get rid of my bags under my eyes. And just my first layer on my lids. Um, the copper rose shimmer was the inside here. And garnet, which is a little bit dark, is that corner that almost gives you the smoky eye look. And that's it. So these three are what I have on currently. I never really wore a ton of it, like I said, because, you know, I didn't like that you went like this and it was on your hand and it was all down your cheek. And uh, this stuff does not legit. You just saw me put it on, right? And I'm legit. You can see me pulling my eyelid. It doesn't come off. It is amazing. So... I have also found one more thing that I really like and I want to show you. So if you are, obviously, I see a lot of people jumping in. This is my Shadow Sense collection. There are so many combinations that you can put together just based on these handful of colors. I love to play with them and see what looks good with what. So this is our Eye Sense eyeliner. And this is the limited edition one that's the Shimmer. And it is called, let's see if I can get it to come up, Starry Sky. The thing that I have found, so I was using Onyx to line, which is a shadow sense. It's black. We didn't have black in stock. Um, so I was using black Onyx. Super easy. I have found that I am in love with this. It, a little small tube. I can't wait to get our regular eyeliner back in black so that I can start using this. This has a little bit of a shimmer to it, um, a little glitter, not a lot. You can't really see it when it's on, but it has a really nice pointed brush that gives you a nice thin line. And I don't have a mirror. I don't know if I can do it on here. I'm afraid I'm going to screw my eyes up. Let's see if I can do this one. Hmm. I always get it down here, no matter what I do. If you get it quick enough, it comes right off. So, super easy to use. And I, I granted, it's not perfect because I don't have a mirror. But it really gives your eye a little bit of definition. And I have found that if I use this on my bottom lashes, I don't really have to use mascara, which is super awesome. So that is that. That is Shadow Sense 101, guys. It is not hard. Play with your colors. Mix your colors. Um, Silver Shimmer is awesome. If I wanted to lighten it up, I did this the other night for my Christmas party at work. I did that in some Onyx in some Copper Rose. Just give myself a little darker look. And they come in so many awesome colors, guys. Get your hands on these. They are so many good uses. You have no idea. Um, you can use them, like I said, as um, the garnet we're using as highlighters. And you can put it on here as almost like a bronzer. So many awesome things you can do with these products. And candlelight especially. If you are looking for an amazing concealer or a little bit of cover-up that's not thick and not heavy, um, candlelight is totally what you want. So I am 
super glad that you guys jumped on live with me today. If you are going to catch this on the replay, please make sure you drop a two in the comments or hashtag replay so that I know you're watching them and you're learning all the good, cool tips and tricks. And you see eyeliner, no eyeliner. Quick look, did not take me long. I will see you guys soon and we'll do another combination soon. Talk to you guys soon. Love ya. Remember, confidence comes from within, but makeup helps.